as an infant, up until the time he was 11 months old, he didn't have many problems at all. And once he turned maybe right out of the year, um, he would wake up nights and just scream. Dakota would be well maybe one week out of a month. Most of the other time he would be in the hospital or here in severe pain. The hardest part for me was being a mom and you know when our kids have a boo-boo, you know we can kiss it and make it better. And I couldn't make it better. To see him in bed just screaming in pain, no matter how much pain medication I gave him. Um, and I remember he, he said to me one day, I don't know how much longer I could take this. Children born with sickle cell today have an average life expectancy of about 45 years. And that's about 25 years less than people in the United States without sickle cell disease. It was pretty bad. Uh, I had to deal with pain, like for a lot. So basically I couldn't do anything. I didn't have like a social life really because I was too worried about getting in a sickle cell crisis. So it was bad. There was a study coming up and that he could be a candidate for it. And from that point on, um, I think Dr. Jurassic, Dr. Hespeth and all the other people began to talk to me about it. But then I kind of, I thought about his quality of life that he was having before this. And um, the, the, the decision became easy because I knew that he couldn't keep up the way he was going. My birthday's October 7th, so October 10th is when they actually did the bone marrow transplant. Yeah, I had to wait a few weeks. When we got to day one, when the bone marrow was to come in, you have the whole transplant team in the room and they're all just standing there and, and Dakota's laying there and, and, and then they walk in with the bone marrow and I lost it. it. Because you see this bag of milky red stuff and, I'm, and I thought, oh my God, this is it. Transplant is my interest. I treat children with cancer and when I treat children with cancer, I think I'm doing this procedure to save a life. When I think about Dakota and his transplant, I think we did this procedure to change his life. And I think, you know, when you see him, all of the changes are pretty dramatic and pretty amazing. I have energy. Now I can do things I couldn't do back then. Now I can jump with the boys, I can run with them, I can play football and basketball with them. It's good. It's a lot of things I couldn't do back then. It doesn't seem real. The pain was so bad, and I really couldn't do anything. You know, being a teenager, like especially a male, it's a lot of things you want to do that I couldn't do, but now I can. During this whole process, it was like they cared just as much about me and my husband and how we felt and how you know what we needed and what could help us, you know, take this journey along with him just as much as they cared about Dakota. Try to do more bone marrow transplants. The sickle cell, it's a very devastating disease. I don't think people know how extreme it is. And I would like for more people to get this opportunity that I have been gotten.